Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What TikTok trend gave you anger issues? Lip syncing stand-up comedy. Your silent delivery doesn't not enhance the joke, it makes it weird. Edit, oh, and duets where it's just the other person reacting slash laughing. Especially when they've obviously seen the video before and are faking it this time. Anything with like for part 2. All videos that are multiple parts drives me up the wall because you can't just scroll to the next you have to move to their page and find your last watch then go up from there it's frustrating. I feel old. Filming their autistic or mentally challenged relative that is clearly incapable of consenting to being the subject of all their TikToks. Harassing innocent people who are just trying to buy groceries. Back in Vine days, I was at Walmart getting acrylic paint for a theater project. It was like 1 a.m. and my sister and I had been awake for hours trying to finish a project for a community theater show. Then some blonde kid runs up with an air horn and blows it in our faces and runs away. Our friends start sending us his video saying OMG is this you and sister. It was Logan Paul. Fuck that guy. Any prank video where someone leads their so to believe they are being cheated on. Like there was one where someone would pretend to accidentally text their so they're gone now, you can come over and then film their so's reaction. Like that shit isn't funny, and I would 100% break up with someone if they did that to me. The fake pranks with the extremely over-exaggerated reactions, and perfect scripted dialogue. I die a little bit every time one sneaks in on my For You page. I always get downvoted when I say I hate pranks. But yet. Yeah, I hate pranks. I mean some are funny but most are just cringe whether they're real or not. Especially when targeted at kids. I think that's just mean. The greatest showman TikTok where people try to mouth the intro. They are always full of cringe with close UPS that are way I too close and the mouthing is absolutely horrible. There's a dude who popped up on my page for a while who was supposedly a dancer in The Greatest Showman. His whole thing was randomly saw these two people doing the choreography, so I surprised them and he'd jump in and dance and everyone would react like they were meeting Hugh Jackman himself. I liked the movie, but other than the main cast, I can't remember any of the backup dancers. It got really cringe-worthy after a few videos. The Herbal Medicine Trends I have actual knowledge about medicinal herbs and I have only seen one or two of these gurus who'll give safe advice. In a lot of places you'll find tetanus on your herbs. You need to rinse them in cold water. You'll need to know how to preserve them. Some can't be dried, some can't be frozen, some only stay fresh for a little while. And while traditional medicine was equal parts effective remedies, superstition, and pure quack, as in, some things worked, some only worked if placebo effect occurred and other things were snake oil that often had the potential to swing you for a worse turn, it's not superior to modern medicine in terms of range and efficiency. And most things can't be cured by or treated with natural remedies. Yet I see these gurus throw in videos here and there that are blatantly false, like how certain herbal teas can kill cancer cells, bollocks, no wonder people distrust natural remedies. They often have at least some knowledge about the subject and are able to produce a lot of low quality videos with actual knowledge, I think that's so devious. While I have your attention I'd just like to say that while there's an understandable skepticism about natural remedies. But modern scientists have looked into traditional folk remedies and old wives cures and after scientific examination concluded that there are many things that actually did work. Some plants have antimicrobial properties. Some plants promote healing, soothes burned skin, moisturizes, aids in closing the wound, relieves pain from insect bites slash stings and nettle. Resin can draw splinters from your skin without causing you any harm, pain, or discomfort. It also effectively stir releasers wounds, and if mixed into a salve based in oil and beeswax it'll result in an antimicrobial, antiviral, stir releasing cream that promotes healing and immune response while simultaneously providing an anaerob environment where most bacteria infections struggle to grow. And a protective, 
impenetrable layer that covers the wound from further infection as well as oxidation, which will irritate the sensitive tissue in your wound, causing a pain response, in effect a painkiller. You can't cure cancer, or inhibit HIV, or anything to that effect, a fake. But there is research and evidence to suggest it's not entirely useless either. When PPL stand in their kitchen and just pour buckets of sauce, like barbecue, ranch, ECT on food like it's supposed to be comedy or some sort of bit. I think the original was like, how girls make coffee and it was basically just pouring massive amounts of milk into a cup and spilling it everywhere. It's not even the waste of food that upsets me, it's how unfunny the videos are, yet it has millions of views, and then it's replicated over and over and over, it makes me die inside. Recently, I've seen a lot of people excitedly sharing that they have multiple personalities. Probably every single one is lying, given how rare dissociative identity disorder is, a whopping three total cases in the psychological literature pre-internet. It's not trendy or cool, but they treat it like it is. I had a dissociative mental health problem, difficult to diagnose, not sure what I had was did and I'm recovered now years later with no more psychosis, but it was incredibly disruptive to my life and almost ended my career. I hate talking about it and I hate remembering it, but one thing I know for sure is that it wasn't fun or cool. Psychiatric illness shouldn't be glorified. If you actually had any dissociative identities you would know that. It's a sign that your mind is falling apart, not a cool hat you wear to parties. It makes me so angry. Destroying personal property or humiliating someone for laughs. Pranks aren't funny. I think pranks can be really fun if they follow the confuse, don't abuse rule. Not funny, that old video of someone dressing up a kid-sized doll the same way as someone's child and making it seem like their kid fell off a balcony. Haha <laughs> yeah, you made me think my child died, hilarious. Funny. Sending my sister potatoes with goofy messages written on them in the mail for a year? Hilarious, everyone had a good time and it will live on in our family as the funniest thing I ever pulled off. The whole empathy thing. I did not study empathy in a paid academic position for a bunch of self-centered teens to think a basic human function is a superpower. Edit. Let me be clear, I'm aware that recently it's satire. But prior to the satire, it was genuine. Also, no, I don't believe that empaths exist. If you're automatically taking on the feelings of everyone around you, it's likely a trauma response. The hypersexual dance trends when they know their 12 year old girl audiences will copy. The number one TikToker is a 17 year old girl who does sexy dances, and she's been number one for years. This is a minor, high school girl. You know pedos love it and millions of insecure girls want to be like her and copy her and feel bad about themselves for not looking like her. So when Reddit says TikTok is bad, yes, it really is. Not just for the lip syncing and unfunny repeated skits and jokes, but this and the dangerous challenges. How many bathrooms were destroyed because of it? None of it is unique to TikTok but it's bigger than ever. It's visited more than Google now. When they post videos of them crying and either captions or voiceovers of losing a loved one. Using pain that we all go through to get views and likes. Yeah, I don't actually believe those people are hurt by it, rather they just see another venue for growing their platform and gaining sympathy from strangers. I don't know if it's specific to TikTok but the asshats who pretend to dramatically fall and drop 12 pints of milk in the supermarket. Well done dickhead some minimum wage worker now has to clean up after you. 2. First of them is the did faking. Did is a serious disorder that is caused by childhood trauma, and people shouldn't fake it for views. Second is the autism challenge. I have autism myself, and it affects my life mostly negative. It makes me really angry to see that people fake it just for some clout. TikTok is the worst platform on the internet, 99% of everything uploaded there is trash, and people begging for likes and followers. I wouldn't recommend using TikTok. 
the start a riot song with people explaining why they're edgy parents and go against the norm. I immediately scroll by when I hear that song because it's the same video every time, just different parent. Seems to me people do the same videos to try to look cuter on camera than the last person. Also, that stupid please don't be in love with someone else shower BS. I look for different content in every video, not different people doing the exact same thing. I really hated the Awawa dog because the owner was full on provoking the animal and harassing him when the dog was obviously upset and wanted to be left alone. Those videos started so many other accounts harassing their chihuahuas and actually tanked the chihuahua adoption rate in America I believe because people thought chihuahuas were aggressive when it was just their owners provoking them. I don't know if it's a trend, yet, but people talking about their disassociative personality disorders. Who's the gatekeeper, who's grounded, who are the alters and what roles they play, etc. Given that did is incredibly rare, and the trauma has to have been done before you were five, this strikes me as yet another a monkey see monkey do phenomenon. Being trans is so passe, and it's not getting the attention it once did, so what's next? Aha! Multiple personality disorder. That way, all of my personalities can get attention, and I can feel even more special. Seems to me like TikTok is just a juvenile narcissism machine. Live streams with a maths puzzle where people fail it because they don't understand PEMDAS and other reasons. The host conveniently fails to see when people give the right answer and runs the stream for hours whilst people pull their hair out. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. God damn I want to die every time I see this. Also really hate any lip-syncing TikToks in general BC it really seems like people are just really into themselves. There's been a weird trend of people claiming to have borderline personality disorder making videos about it and honestly they all just piss me off. At first they come across as though they're trying to get better but still treat the people in their lives like shit. Then when they tell those stories about treating people like shit, they get mad at those who don't smother them with I'm so sorry it will get better we know you're trying comments. I was abused for most of my life by a BPD family member and so seeing a bunch of people piss and moan about their disorder but still not seek mental help really grinds my gears. Okay so you have a mental disorder get help. The same way I had to get help for the CPTSD and anxiety disorder that a BPD person gave me. I haven't seen most of the really disturbing trends people have commented here, but the most infuriating ones that show up on my page are body checking trends. As someone who's recovering from an ed it's extremely triggering and I hate that it's normalizing disordered self images. Can't imagine the damage it's doing to kids. The borrowing trend. People stole from stores, recorded it, posted it, and called it borrowing. I think it's still a thing and some people were dumb enough to show their faces and the store they were about to steal from. What's even worse is that it's a whole community on TikTok and they trade tips, make videos of all the stuff they stole, how long they've been stealing, and hype each other up. It's disturbing. Not a trend, but the text-to-speech voice literally everyone uses. I don't care if they don't actually want to talk in their videos. I don't care if they use text-to-speech. But why does it have to be the absolute most annoying voice they can possibly use? Especially when there are other voices to choose from that aren't nearly as bad. Where kids would post about hitting licks at their school which just consisted of stealing things from the school itself. Some idiots even stole a whole urinal from the boys' bathroom and ended up fucking up the pipe system and it ended up costing the school a lot of money to fix it. Fucking ridiculous. As the parent of a 10-year-old, the ones where they try to make fads out of doing dangerous things. Seems like every week there's another story of a kid dying while trying to do something they saw on TikTok. Probably where people dance or bob their heads to a famous song for millions of views. You're telling me that I'll work myself to the bone for 70 years, and these people can just fucking bob their heads and get enough money to work not a day in their lives. What the actual fuck? There's this one that pisses me off that my MRS finds hilarious, it's labeled as a prank, 
but it's not a prank is just causing damage to someone's property basically girls intentionally slam their boyfriend's car doors and film the reaction of them getting mad asking them not to do that and they keep doing it all the while asking why are you getting mad. Now it's probably fake anyway because most pranks are but say they're not. These guys obviously care about their cars, why would your partner want to upset you by intentionally causing damage to something they care about? Yet it's just an object but not respecting your partner's possessions is just shitty. Cooking or food videos where people put on fake personas or act kooky or weird in the videos just for the clout and the views. For real, show me a recipe without using cutesy made up words like buff as measurements coupled with close up exaggerated facial expressions. Also, treat your ingredients with respect. There's one video of a girl making Brazilian limeade and she just throws her ingredients and cooking equipment about while being so deliberately rough with her instructions. And at the end, again with the exaggerated tasting facial expressions. Or the supposed GCB with a book deal who knows she's hot and puts on a stern dummy mommy vibe in her videos. All fake. I watched one where a fit kid, told everyone it's okay to starve yourself, to get similar results. And he starved himself for a couple weeks and got swole. He had a whole shit ton of other bad advice for kids, like running excessively non-stop to lose weight immediately, running to the point of, you'd die. I believe some kids will believe what he's saying. I quit slash deleted TikTok and quit. Some of the stupid challenges. Like the milk crate one. I work at a distribution center and we use a lot of different crates. People kept stealing them from us. I even got chewed out by my manager because people were driving in with pickup trucks and stealing plastic pallets, crates, you name it. How that was my fault is beyond me. Bobanum's song about Jeff Bezos but people replacing the name, birth year etc with their own information. Like what the fuck? It's literally about one specific person, don't make this a fucking trend. It's like playing candle in the wind on every funeral. The heartbeat challenge, I heard about it from YouTube, because no way I'm gonna have that cancer too more, you have a song, forgot which one, and at the beat when the singer says I hear your heartbeat, bang on a toilet door when someone is inside to give them a heart attack. Not a specific trend but here's a few things that irk me. Trends in general. Monkey see, monkey do. There's little to no originality. It's just millions of people creating the same video for attention. This one is pretty specific, but here goes. Girls slash girls do provocative or sexual dance for a video hoping it goes viral and gets millions of likes slash views. Pretend to be embarrassed at the end of the video. Mouth agape. They're in shock at what they just did. Covers their mouth as they run to turn off the camera. So many people do it that I think it's become part of the act. Tough guys. Look at me. I'm a tough guy who says tough things and acts tough. I'm a tough guy. And if I had to name a trend, it's the people who do the weird contorted facial expressions combined with weird audio. Makes me want to end it, right there and then didn't personally give me anger issues. But when I used to work in a grocery store, in the deli slash bakery department, there was a cheese shop that used to sit across from us. And I just remember coming in one morning, and the lead over there was so red in the face pissed off. I was like, what happened? What's going on? And she was like, due to whatever recipe trend that was going on at the time, called for feta. And people came in and literally wiped out her shelves. You would think that'd be good news. But when you work grocery retail and need to have your shelves uber stocked and it's already hard as all get out, to get in your supplies due to pandemic. Yeah, she was totally not here for not having what she needed for her shelves. Not sure if it's a trend or just something TikTokers do but I physically cannot stand seeing those videos where someone is lip syncing to a song while zooming in and out a lot or doing weird stuff with their tongue like that shit is too cringy for me. I have no idea how someone can do that in front of a camera and like it enough to share with people. 
I like a good funny cringe here and there but that shit is straight up unpleasant cringe. The whole mom is raising lions not sheep BS trend. My favorite are the ones where they allude to the idea that they'll get in a physical fight to prevent their kids from getting vaxxed. Like, yes I'm sure that Bethany, an overweight wine mom who lives in the suburbs and wears Lularo, can take down a soldier in a fight. This recent trend of go little rock star. First of all it's Pope is a rock star. I knew the song long before and liked it too. It gives me a headache that TikTok will literally mold anything in its favor to suit some pseudo theme. This also broke my only positive about the platform that it gave exposure to small artists. It doesn't. It's not even representing their art properly. Did Wonderland system. I know that person is faking it but still there's something obviously wrong with them and people are treating them like a joke, they kinda are but sheesh that's really gonna mess them up more. Tell me your A underscore 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 without telling me your A underscore 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 who cares. Everything doesn't have to be a challenge and stop lip syncing, no one does it right and it is a complete rip from the original. No one wants to see you to act out a stand-up bit. I hate TikTok. Having hamsters is suddenly really trendy, but as they're all around 10 pounds so many kids are flocking to get them then not giving them the proper care and treating them as disposable toys instead of live animals. The adult swim bumps. It's always something motivational or helpful or whatever and usually the as is poorly done or not clever, just them standing up and walking away. I can tell almost none of them have never watched Adult Swim let alone seen a bump. They're weird, scary, funny, hell maybe even motivational not that I've seen one. And it's always some shitty advice about loving yourself or something. And the song they have playing got annoying after the 20th time I heard it on my FYP. People faking Tourette's and sensory processing disorder. Both my son and I have them both. They're not cute, or quirky, or trendy. They are life-altering, often debilitating disabilities that I wouldn't wish on anyone. Mine is well controlled with medication. My nine-year-old son's isn't. I grew up with the dawn of the internet and MySpace, YouTube, Facebook. I get being a teen and doing stuff you cringe at when you look back. But I wouldn't in my wildest dreams have thought of faking a disability. That's a whole other level of awful. I think many of these kids would rethink it if they heard my son crying himself to sleep, begging God to make him die so the ticks would stop. Getting a random dog. Like you don't know anything about the breed. You do more damage than good. So just don't get it. And dogs aren't objects like think before you buy. It's gonna be with you for at least 10 years. Oh. The one where people faked neurological disorders slash mental illness, it hurt me so bad because as a person with Tourette's, which was like the most faked condition along with did and autism, it just made me believe I was faking it because everyone was like no. You do not have it. You're just faking it. It's hard when you already deal with thoughts like that am I doing it for attention. I haven't ticked, maybe I am faking it but if I tick right now, people will think I'm an attention seeker it sucks, they don't really know how much it hurts the community, some of them were little children but still. It just angers me, because I suffered lots because of my Tourette's, and people took it as a funny joke, people were misinforming others, making fun of people with TS, gosh, there's even a subreddit who is full of people fake claiming people with Tourette's and others conditions and when you try to correct them they get mad because no, it doesn't work like that, when in reality it does work like that, it just made me really angry. The couple's reaction channels I hear about. If my partner was doing things as a bit all day, knowing that something could be for a bit would change my genuine reaction to everything. Therefore it's all fabricated reaction, and always the exact same one. I don't see the entertainment value at all. Cam. It was just another man-hating trend, but it ended up being the source of little boys killing themselves. Nobody took accountability either. Hell, so many women openly thought that shit was so goddamn funny. Makes me tear up in rage to this day. 
I already have those. TikTok just brings it out in me. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Good being done. But really, every fucking thought anyone has goes up on there. If it's on TikTok, it means one person found it funny or interesting or a thought worth sharing. It's fair, but I wish it had a couple editors or thousands of them. Just people you can run these ideas by. So someone else can let you know if you should just keep it to yourself or put it out there. It basically is that mirror in your bedroom, only now they broadcast every tidbit out into the damn universe. The oh sorry my insert disability or mental shit here acted up in a video. It's an excuse for dumb teenagers and adults who have nothing else to do with their life other than wank off to show off stereotypical shit for stuff like ADHD which is not fun to live with. Stop trying to be quirky for faking ADHD. It's not quirky when my mind moves so fast I don't blink. It's not quirky when I can't do daily hygiene because my brain just won't let me. My kids completely killed any interest I had in TikTok. Hearing the same videos over and over then them saying what they heard or singing what they heard nearly drove me crazy. It got to the point where my wife and I wouldn't allow it in the house anymore. That stupid trend where they reenact their family crying at their funeral meanwhile they are in heaven looking for famous people who died mysteriously and ask them what really happened. That stupid trend where teenagers are acting like they are being arrested and being roughed up by the cops, then they look at the camera and mouth ILY. Those stupid videos where those teens make brief eye contact where going in the elevator and smile coyly. I hate them all. All of them. Especially vandalizing school property. We had three bathrooms for each gender at the start of the year. Athletics director paid for a fountain slash water bottle filler. It was broken within a week. So that took away the bathrooms next to it. About a month ago, apparently some girls were messing around BC a stall door was found off of its hinges. Very confused why they didn't take that away. And now the boys, me included, only have one bathroom BC some idiots, most likely 6th or 8th graders, were horseplaying in the bathroom downstairs, where the door was torn off in the girls. All of them. Every single one of them. Except for the ones by Dan Povenmire, they're all terrible. Devious licks, licking toilets, overflowing stuff, LIO sinking songs and nothing more, lip syncing comedy, reenacting comedy but much much worse than the original. TikTok is all bad. The good creators left TikTok for YouTube short, like Charlie, Penguins Zero, and the guy that dubs Onimus being derps. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.